what we choose to control is often what we fear the most. So we really need, we have an obligation to investigate everything of which we're afraid. I think it helps to, to, to embrace these iconic figures and these mythologies and apply them to your life. Because your life is, is, is as heroic as anybody's. I mean, they're your struggles, they're your fights. Can we talk about consciousness? Well, we are, we are addressing the big topics, aren't we? <laughs> this January, it will be 10 years. It'll be a decade. You're not going to release, like, the whole videotape of our conversation? No, no, no. no, no. What we choose to control is often what we fear the most. So we really need, we have an obligation to investigate everything of which we're afraid. Like, I learned how to do the double eye poke from uh, Three Stooges, which has come in handy. He took on for all our sakes, mm. all our own awkwardness mm. and discomfort and like a sort of saint. Like a nerd messiah yeah. of some sort, yes, yes. Rodney is the, is the is, is, yes, is the patron saint of, of nerds. Well, of course, this is the best question of all, Martin, because uh, any thinking person would have to um, confront it. Are the answers meant to be in as if the character, because I noticed that uh, uh, Kate talked very much as if she were Captain Janeway. Ideally, we won't have to discuss this stuff in the future. But then what will we be evolving to? Like, what is our point of being here? It seems like we're, to my mind, you got to be here and learn stuff. You know what? I was talking to Nathan Fillion. <laughs> This is a proper examination of it as a, as a phenomenon as a whole. It holds up remarkably well, I think, to deeper study. Maybe you should uh, give uh, an How to Interview 101 class to a lot of your contemporaries. <laughs> <laughs>